Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, dear followers, sons and daughters, in the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to share some things with you today. Amen. Glory be to God Almighty. First of all, I want to read from Exodus 14 and from verse 21. The Bible reads, Then Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and all the night the Lord drove back the sea with a strong east wind and turned it into dry land. The waters were divided, and the Israelites went through the sea on dry ground, with a wall of water on their right and on their left side. Amen. This morning, my wife, Prophetess Anne, she saw a divided sea, like the same as in this scenario. Amen. A dry land with a wall of water on the right and the left side. Hallelujah. For you who follow us, you have seen on our timeline that we have been sharing about Apostle Peter walking, stepping out of the boat, walking on the water with the Lord Jesus Christ. We have encouraged you to take the hand of the Lord and walk on the water. Amen. Not to swim, but to walk on the water with the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So this morning she saw the divided sea. She saw the dry land. Amen. It's time to see the hand of God. What's the hand of God, followers? The hand of God is the power of God. The hand of God, the power of God. When the power of God comes into your life, something happens that man cannot do. Something happens for your career, for your marriage, for your business, for you who are full of debt that you cannot do, that the bank cannot help you with, that your friends cannot help you with. Amen? That the counselor and the psychologist cannot help you with. Glory be to God Almighty. Hallelujah. So it's time for the Red Sea to be divided in your life. I prophesy it in the mighty name of Jesus. Furthermore, the woman of God yesterday saw a ram. Amen. She saw a ram. God will provide. Hallelujah. God will provide the money for you. God will divide the Red Sea. You are maybe expecting, believing God for a great amount of money. God will provide. Amen. You have faced stagnation in your business, in your ministry. Hallelujah. The doors are not opening. Regardless of how much you are pressing on, you can press through. But now God will provide. Now God will open the Red Sea for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, believe it as you watch this video. Hallelujah. As you look to the Almighty God, as you look to the God of Israel, your God. Amen. So let me read the next verse. Verse 23. The Egyptians pursued them, and all Pharaoh's horses and chariots and horsemen followed them into the sea. During the last watch of the night, the Lord looked down from the pillar of fire and cloud and the Egyptian army at the Egyptian army and threw it into confusion. He jammed the wheels of the chariots so that they had difficult driving. And the Egyptians said, let's get away from the Israelites. The Lord is fighting for them against Egypt. Hallelujah. It's time for your enemies to be defeated. Hallelujah. It is time for you to see the defeat of your enemies by the hand of God. Glory be to God. You have been walking through some situations. You have had all these people coming against you. You have had all these people sticking sticks in your wheels. Hallelujah. While you have been on your knees, believing God, praying to God. Hallelujah. Do something. Do something. Deal with my enemies. Like King David. Take care of my enemies. You know, King David, he didn't go in his flesh and deal with his enemies. He went to God Almighty. And he presented everything, his requests to him. Hallelujah. He complained. He complained to the Lord. So have you done. But now it's time. You know, there is a time. There is a season. There is a time where God will judge. Where judgment will fall upon your enemies. And beloved, this is not for your sake. Don't forget that. This is for his glory. He wants to give you a testimony. Why? Yes, he loves you. But he wants to display his glory. He wants people to see His power. He wants people to see that He's the Sovereign Lord. Hallelujah. Conquering 
by conquering your enemies. People around you, people in your network, in your environment, they will see, no, this is a true Christian. This one, this one serve the right God, the true God, hallelujah, the God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob, the God of Israel, your God, hallelujah. Amen. So take these words, take, receive these prophetic visions, take them for yourself, amen. By faith, you will magnet them, hallelujah. Things gravitate towards you by faith. You must believe, not just looking at this video saying, Amen, that was a good uh, preaching, that was a good video. But believe what we said, because these things come from the Holy Spirit. It's time for you now to walk through on dry land, amen. It's time for you now to look back at Pharaoh, to look back at those enemies and say yes the Lord has done it then you will do what Moses and Miriam and all the clan of Israel did in the next chapter of the book of Exodus they sang a song to the Lord you will bow down you will worship him you will sing from your spirit amen with gratitude a new song maybe hallelujah so God bless you